an easy secret storage that you use in your Minecraft survival world. If you don't want to use the lever, easy enough, get rid of this guy, throw down a button, and then you have more of a hardcore style chest. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming coming to you from Tutorial World with Tutorial Love and yes. So today guys, we are going to be doing a really easy super secret chest ready to go. So as you can see, the best way to use this one is with nothing. So nobody can see it, nobody can do anything with it. But if you throw a lever down and flick it, you can have so much storage. You could easily replace any of these with crafting tables, furnaces, uh brewing stands, all kinds of stuff, ender chests if you want, access whatever you want, and then all you gotta do is turn it off or just get rid of it. Again, like I said in the beginning, if you wanted to do hardcore style, so you throw down the button, press the button, hit the chest, and then anybody looking is not gonna know you're in your secret chest. Uh, yeah, and you know what? The stone button actually stays pretty good and hidden. You can kind of leave it there and then, uh, you know, get it off the wall when you go out for the day, make sure nobody jacks you up, and there you go. So, for this one here, guys, let's go for 383 likes. If you are one of those dudes, hit me up in the comments, Fireboy. 12th place notification squad and yeah so i think what we're gonna do is build this one guys it's so easy it's pretty much the easiest tutorial i had to talk for a minute there just to make this a five minute video so uh let's go so first start out with your wall go ahead and clear out the area that you want so it's going to be pretty big so let's just clear out a big area i'll show you how to measure it it actually measures out pretty weird because it does go the distance of redstone, but I feel like it goes, it might be directional for which side goes farther because one side is longer than the other. So long story short, throw down uh, this guy here. So right now you're in line with the wall, right? So grab yourself 24 redstone dust. You're going to need either a lever or a button or whatever. One redstone torch. 23 sticky pistons, 16 chests and seven trap chests. If you're going to make it exactly like mine come back here okay so in the wall here we're gonna go down to one two one two and we're gonna do this all the way down the line I'm just gonna do what we have here we'll measure it out after because like I said the redstone is weird it went 14 in one direction and 9 in the other so I don't know I'm thinking it goes where it starts but once you have these guys down two, let's go back here and get these guys down one Once these guys are down one, this is how you're going to learn how far it's going to go. The easy way to do this one is throw this dust on here, or throw this torch on here, that's the one redstone torch, and then send it out and see how which one goes how far. Because the other one was weird, I thought they would go the same distance. Notice it stops right there, so, oh, no, it goes... Let's keep going until it stops. I love how I think it's going to go 15 the first one. Right here it stops. So get rid of this guy. We're good. So let's get rid of these since it's uh, ready to go. And now let's just go to the other side. So the other side is going to go only 9. Watch. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then this one here is not going to light. Oh, it does. That's so weird. Redstone mechanics. This one over here, guys, I'm telling you, I'll show it to you. It's only 9 and 4. Uh, it's still going. As long as the dust shows these little particles, you know how far you could go. So this is the end of this one right here. Get rid of this guy. Make sure we're too deep. So now once you're in there, grab those sticky pistons. Again, you're going to be using more than I did last time if this one is so long. And put these guys in like this. And you know it works because if we were to try to do this right here, it wouldn't work. So now you know you went your distance. Let's go ahead and just fill these guys up right here. And now most of your work is done. Go along the front side here. Cover up all these holes. Once you're in the middle here, might as well throw a lever on so that we know what we're doing. And go like this. Looking good. So your wall is pretty much done, guys. We're going to go over here. We're just going to fill in this last hole. It's a super cool way to do it. It's so easy, guys. One redstone torch. Come on. Hit the lever. And now you know where to go. So uh, if you want to... 
I wonder if you could put this guy here. So if you want to do it this way, just go ahead and put something on the backdrop here so that you can place your chest. Uh, you're going to want them there anyway to kind of cover it up so light doesn't come through. Then what you do is start from the middle, grab your regular chest, one on each side like this, skipping the space. If you really wanted to put a trap chest there, I guess you could. But So every time you go over now, skip one, skip one, skip one, and then in the middles of them, trap chest. And then I guess, like I said, if you want a trap chest there, you're more than welcome. I think it's a little bit hard. But again, you don't need to have trap chests there. You could have crafting tables, furnaces, anything you need. Bingo, bango, bongo with nothing there. It looks like an empty wall. There you go, guys. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well uh, to subscribe to my channel. Look, it's probably even harder to find it. So we got to go down here. And again, like I said, this button stays pretty hidden, man. Like... You know, people aren't going to see it from far away, and then you can do kind of hardcore style, and then if someone walks up behind you, they don't know what you're doing. They don't know you're in a chest. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don't forget to smash the like before you go. Don't forget to subscribe uh, for some more cool stuff. Tutorial time coming up. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.